Hey. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Isaiah. This nigga's not a producer, bro. Him and this sweet do rag. I'm not gonna let it go. I'm not. I swear I won't. All right. They met. For if she folds to this uh, nigga, bro, and she's then? pregnant. We. Yeah, yeah. How do I know how to make this? All right, this video is titled, Will his pregnant girlfriend pass the loyalty test, UDY? I've actually been missing out on a lot of these, but I want to see this one. Go, cool. you ready for this one? Yeah, you gotta be ready, man. Ooh. I'm about to put her ass to this test. Oh, a rose. In the blender, I'm trying to figure out what the going on. Yeah, I right feel now. it, man, I feel it. Today, we're replacing Jozark's pregnant girlfriend, Sierra, to the test. Will mm -hmm. she remain loyal to him, or will she trade him for another rich and successful guy? So, so if there was loyal to him, fuck is that? Will she trade ball? Him for another rich and <laughs> <laughs> Hey, somebody get Jason to eat him, bro. <laughs> this nigga fit sucks, bro. He has a velvet do rag on with a jury. Hey, son, son. Frankly, Both of y'all dress for the test. Will she remain loyal to him or will she trade him? Look at the fit, bro. Come on, bro. Please lock in with me. He has a velvet do rag on. A suede do rag, bro. This fit is not hard, bro. This is not tough. This is not tough. None of this goes together, my nigga. This is actually a terrible fit. I'm trying to be so serious. I'm for another rich and successful guy. So, so if there was somebody no get Jason, he bro. Be here. Oh, not at all. Not at all. I'm gonna just go and find me another one. <laughs> She's pregnant. That is your baby's mom. You're cooked. It's more than that. <laughs> it's more than that. There's not just gonna go find another one. You have a child on the way. You are finished. You better pray she passes. I'm about to open the door right now. I'm about to let you in. This loyalty test will take place at this million dollar home. Our friend Isaiah is pretending Shows. that he lives here. Madeline will convince Sierra to come over, and when the time is right, Isaiah will ask her on a date, allowing Jozar to find out if she will remain loyal. So she hit you up saying that she's pregnant, mm. and it's yours. She's saying this, Mom, but you know. You don't think it's yours? It ain't no evidence proving that. We together, but you know, we trying to solidify everything with the trust, so you know. We making it work for now. Being for, there for the kid is what's most important. Yeah. Okay. If she loyal, then I'll apply myself to the situation as a whole, and maybe we can make it work. But if not, then I'm gonna just keep going on about my way. My girl says she's pregnant, but I don't think it's mine because she'd be outside too much. We've had issues in the past, so let's set up a test on her. That was the crazy DM that Jozar sent. And after hitting him up and learning more, we found out that he makes music and she's a dancer. They met while working together, they dated for a year, and then they broke up. The entertainment industry as a whole, you know, as, uh, both of us okay. being involved with different aspects of music and dancing, it didn't really work out, you know, trust and everything wasn't really working out, so gotcha. we decided to just break it off. Gotcha. A couple months after breaking up, though, Jozar and Sierra would reconnect on a night out. I was doing my one two for like four months and I caught her in the club again. We made our connection, but we kept it platonic after that. And she hit me up like a month later and said she had a baby, so it was like... And it's yours. She's saying this, Mom, but you know... You know well, sir, I'm gonna say something right now. Your story sounds stupid because you said you kept it platonic but she told you she had a baby on the way. It wasn't platonic then. Because then she wouldn't DM you. She wouldn't DM you. You said, we can run the whole story back. Unless I'm literally illiterate. I swear. Because there's no way. Dog. If y'all stop talking. Y'all broke up. What was it for? No, we're going to run it back. We're going to run it back. With different aspects of music and dancing. It ain't really work out. You know, trust and everything wasn't really working out. So gotcha. we decided to just break it off. Gotcha. A couple months after breaking up, though, Jozar and Sierra would reconnect on a night out. I was doing my A couple months after. Okay. Okay. I went to for like four months and I caught her in the club again. Four months. Caught her in the club again. We made our connection, but we kept it platonic after. Metro Connection kept it platonic. Did I? Then she hit me up like a month later and said. She then a month later, she texts you, say she got a baby on the way. I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Then. 
That doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. Bro, if... We know what he did, bro. They fucked. I'm <laughs> baby, so it just gonna, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna... She's saying this, mom, but you know... You don't think it's yours? It ain't no evidence proving that. It's all hypothetical, because, you know, we did have our consensuals, but she could have been doing that with anybody. And at the end of the day, I caught her at the club, so you know how I get you out enjoying yourself. I was just probably her... Hold occupant. on, my nigga. This isn't your girl, then. This is not your girl. This is your ex. This is your ex. So y'all got back together. He's lying. <laughs> like, he's just lying. It's all lies. I'm just trying to make sure that it wasn't others before me. After telling him that she was pregnant, Sierra told Jozart that they should try to work things out between them, that they should try to be a family for the baby's sake, and Jozart's down for that if the baby is his. She came back into your life and said, I got a baby and I want to make this work. What did you think? Lamelo, don't nobody want to hear nothing from you, my nigga. Shut up. He just talking. And she went, uh, and she came back in your life trying to figure out what you got going like bro what unk I heard when she said that really i'm not listening to no nigga that has a suede do-rag on with no bro the fit don't go with it bro the do-rags chills the do-rag is fine it's the fact that this nigga got a red suede do-rag that has nothing to do with his fit bro are you sure that's the first thing of course or are you sure and then is it mine but you know it's kind of always gonna throw the situation left and into the bad then why not just get a fucking test hold on son this whole video don't make sense bro then why don't you just do a fucking dna test what does this have to do with anything why are we trying to figure out if the baby's yours through her loyalty to you so you think if she's out here willing to just mess with oh dude right here that the baby's not yours. Son, that's not how that works, bro. It was a, yeah. We together. But you this know, nigga we fit sucks. To solidify everything with the trust. So, you and know, Sergio is sitting here like a kid. Sergio is sitting here like a little boy. Initially broke up because of trust issues, so of course there's going to be doubts. Hopefully those doubts go away, though, with this loyalty test. And I'm not going to lie, I was very hesitant about doing this video, primarily because there's an innocent third party involved. We went through with everything, though, because Jozart said he'd be there for the kid, whether Sierra stayed loyal or not. If, of course, the baby is his. Co-parenting is always the better option with anything. Being for, there for the kid is what's more important. So if she stays loyal, what happens then? If she loyal, then I'll apply myself to the situation. But until then, she on the nice. Hello? Hey, girl. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we're still on for today to go over choreo. Yeah, I'm still good for it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to head over to the producer's house soon. I'll send you my ETA. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. The first step of her plan was getting Sierra to come to this house. So a couple days ago, we had Madeline ask her to create some dance choreography for one of her songs in exchange for some good money. Sierra was interested and even suggested meeting at a dance studio that she frequents. However, as planned, Madeline preferred to meet at her producer's house. Hey, this is nice. This is crazy. They got the rabbit fur carpet. It's crazy. <laughs> Shoot. I feel like I can get used to this. She gonna see this car and that's gonna let me... That nigga is corny. You know, right there. She's the gonna get the full test right now. Light skin ass nigga, bro. And who's this? Get the full test. The million dollar home is gonna make Isaiah look. I could get used to this while he's pulling the door handle. That's why you don't got one now. That's why you don't got one now. Rich, but this four hundred and seventy-five. I could, I could get used to this. Just rubbing all on the seat. That's why you don't got one. It's gonna add some crazy credibility. Here's my favorite feature. Whoa! Kyle, how much is this umbrella? $3,200. $3,200. I'm about to be like, hey, how much is the car? How much you think this umbrella is? That's the flex. I think you can film a golden This video. nigga is corny. This nigga is corny. Just the umbrella, bro. <laughs> The owner of this umbrella and the Rolls Royce is our friend Kyle. Today he'll be playing Isaiah's. The dream. owner? <laughs> the owner of this umbrella and the Rolls Royce is our friend Kyle. Today he'll be. Okay, motion man. My fault. <laughs> He's stunning on me hard like Zed. Damn, I just got cooked. 
Bro, I said, and who's this? He owns the thing. Damn. Isaiah's driver. After showing Isaiah how to work the car, setting everything up, and adjusting our plan a bit Damn. because of the rain, everyone eventually got Okay. Here. Okay. My bad. My fault. Like, yo. They pretty cool. No, you know, it's, it be it was rocky at first, but you know, the best thing about it is they let me see my kids and talk That's to my good. kids. How do you drive this car? This is half a million dollars? You can drive it after afterwards. I don't think you want me to drive it. You see the color of my skin, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, is this it? I think this is it. Okay, perfect. Um, I have parking in the driveway for you. I just found some street parking. I'm like super close. Just park in the driveway because I don't want you to get towed. They usually start towing cars around four. Oh, really? Just pull into the driveway. I'm coming out right now. Where is that her? She's right there, yeah. Okay, we're starting, we're starting, we're starting. Madeline had to convince Sierra to park in the driveway. Okay, pulling up right now. Do you I see, see me. Oh, okay, bad. Cool. Yeah. Let's pull up right here. Right there. Right here? Yeah. There we go. She's parking in the driveway. Perfect. This was a simple but important task. You guys will see how we use this to our advantage later. Nice to finally meet you. Sure. How was the drive? Oh, actually, not too bad. Thank God it stopped raining. Okay, here we go. The shot begins. We have so much, so much work to do, but yeah. One thing at a time. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, we could just, I already set up the mirror here. I was thinking we could just do here. Oh, okay. This is the producer. Hey. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Isaiah. This nigga's not a producer, bro. Him and this sweet do-rag. I'm not going to let it go. I'm not. I swear I won't. All right. They met. First if she concept. folds to this uh, nigga, bro, and she's down. pregnant. We... Yeah, yes. <laughs> Madeline now how to make this entire thing believable. So before they start working on the dance choreo for her song, she makes small talk with Sierra, all while Isaiah pretends to get work done. We could do like something for TikTok, something pretty short. Imagine you look behind, you're like, yo, bro, what you doing? Making, you making beats or you, what, 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 what you doing, bro? Huh? Nigga got YouTube open. How to put a 808 on, it's like, <laughs> it doesn't have to be like super, you know, like crazy, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, we could just start. Get into it. We yeah. could just. Eventually, the girls move on to creating the choreo. Yeah, we're just going to give them some time here to do their thing. And then I'm going to be giving Madeline a call and getting her out of the scene. You don't got to do it. watching me get done. Sir, dirty, that's crazy. On, <laughs> doing the choreography. <laughs> Turning in their graves right now watching this shit happen. <laughs> One, two, three. Have you ever owned a uh, Honda Civic? Yes, I have owned a Honda Civic. Okay, okay. I started off broke just like everyone else. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Chills. She gonna be so mad at Madeline at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> I know the dude has Madeline feel that she's getting so friendly with her. It's funny though, now that I've settled down, more girls hit on me now than I did when I was single. But it's getting your My nigga, you're in a Rolls Royce. Why are you saying that though? It's it's funny though. It's like they they want me more now that I'm chilled out and I'm like relaxed, sitting in a half a million dollar car. Hello, <laughs> hello. So you're not gonna come out with the camera? Exactly. <laughs> if we don't like you. We can just you know change it. Change it yeah. like... If she passes the test, do you plan on telling her that this was a test, or would you? Nah. Some no, things I, are better left unsaid. I feel it. I feel it. She'll never come across this video. And if she does, remember, guys, you deny, deny, deny. <laughs> <laughs> that or, oh, I was just so high, I don't even remember. <laughs> 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 My nigga, you're in 4K. You're staring directly at the camera. It's cooked. <laughs> if she ever came across this video, your face is on the thumbnail. It's over. The dance was coming out pretty nice, and so was the sun. After 45 minutes, it was time to move things along. <gasps> Ooh. What's up? My manager's calling me. Hold up. Hello? Oh, uh, hey, Madeline. You got some time to talk? Otherwise, your music video might not happen. Yes, give me one second, give me one second. I gotta take oh. this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, no worries. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me like 10, 15 minutes. Shit crazy. And just like that, we got Madeline out of there. We were one step closer to Isaiah making his move. Skew me! <laughs> he, he really, he looks blind? Excuse me. So I saw you dancing over there and uh, you look, you look good. It's like, bro, unk. Keep your eyes on the fucking laptop. 
if I tell you one more time, Unk, you keep mixing the pen with the fit, bro. It don't go like that, bro. She's Please. for a manager? Yeah. Yeah. You can't tie her down for too long. That girl stays busy. I saw what you guys are doing, though. It's looking good. My nigga, you're back. What did I see? <laughs> this nigga's corny. He's corny. He's corny. What did I say, bro? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I saw you guys over here. You look good, though. It's like... Lamelo, please, dog. That girl stays busy. Nah, get so Jason. Doing, nah, though. that's Looking not good. either of those two niggas, bro. They yeah. wouldn't be this corny. All the little. I, I'm not gonna do it. I can't dance. <laughs> this would be um. What's my niggas' name? How long name, you been dancing bro? for? Honestly, like my entire life. Then right, go ahead and make your entrance. Over. You uh, you dance full time right now? Yeah, I'm super blessed to get like hella gigs back to back. That's Is that that niggas' name, bro? So you produce like all of those. Nah, hold on, bro. Let me get my Ben. Simpson, is that his name? Yeah, bro, that nigga Ben, bro, get this nigga Ben, bro. I wouldn't say all of it. We have like 20 something songs together. I produced this track. Really? Yeah, appreciate it. No, she's really good. How long have you been, uh, so how long did it take you? You said what? You said how, how long did it take me to, to make the beat? Uh... It's like <laughs> he just starts lagging. Uh, like, bro, not as long as most people that I know. Mm. I've only been doing it for like seven years, so it's like, it's yeah, time. yeah, it's a lot of work, but yeah. we love it. Yeah, this is your slot. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Appreciate it. She real f curious. Been here for like two years. Really. Mm-hmm. So what's your name? She real curious. Shit. Man, she want to know everything about this nigga, bro. It's like, why she... She said, how was the weather? She asked, what was his name? She asked... Hey, she asked, how long have you been producing? Man, she real curious. Today, it's like, what, bro? Yeah. yeah. She hurt the fact that she even entertaining this conversation alone is already a red flag. Ideally, what would you want her to say? I guess, bro. I guess. Not really. Yeah, like, what do you want her to really do? She is the producer, dog. Would you... I don't really know how you, like, change that. Does she here for business that ain't got nothing to do with her? Madeline ain't in the room. She's supposed to be minding her business. You do anything other than dance? You play any sports growing up? Yeah. What's up, my guy? What's, What's good, happening, bro? How's she looking? Dude, your car still looks fresh. I mean, the car wash was closed, but oh, the man. inside needs some work. It's a little wet, but works. Cool. So there's a car that's blocking the driveway. The Dodge Charger? Oh, yeah, that's my car. Do you mind if I move it? I'm going to move it in really quickly, and then I'll put the Rolls Royce right behind it. Sergio's a demon. Oh, my goodness. Do you mind if I move your car? I'm not going to let you touch my fucking car because I don't know you. I'm going to go outside and move my damn self. Got you. Because now you got to see the, the fucking Rolls Royce that this nigga has, you bitch ass. It's like, <laughs> I got it. I mean, it will be a tight squeeze, if, so I would rather just not any of the cars get scratched, and I'll just do got it. Got you. Perfect. You guys want to come out with me? He does this thing for a living, by the way. You don't exactly. have to. Exactly. I detail cars, <laughs> not manage. Hey. Hey, he does this for a living. He fucking crashes into a tree. It's cars. like, yo, I thought you said you were going to wrap my car. Park in the driveway so yeah, I did. Her to come back Around the tree. It's so like, so I'm going to need your car key and I'm going to move it right up. Sierra thinks that Kyle is just driving her car into the garage so that he could then pull in Isaiah's car into the driveway. While technically, yes, this is true. It's not the main reason why we dragged her out here. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let me move this one right in. As I mentioned earlier, Kyle is pretending to be Isaiah's driver who just got his car detailed. That's my baby right there. You like it? Yeah, it looks really nice. The car was supposed to be super clean. Isaiah was supposed to be impressed by Kyle's work and then tip him a generous amount. But because of the rain, it didn't make sense to do that anymore. Funny enough, though, the sun ended up coming out after all. I would say I can take you on a drive, but I don't know if Madeline would be happy if I took you away. So <laughs> <laughs> she did leave you, though. I don't know. No, we can hop inside. Yeah. Oh, we can for sure go inside. 
All right, here we go. Our new oh, yeah? Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah? Like, bro, what? Okay, relax. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah? It's like... <laughs> she wanted to do it bad, bro. <laughs> I mean... I would have took you, but you know, Madeline, she she had left, so I would have took you around for a drive, whatever. Oh yeah, like bro, get the out. I here to check out the inside of the car, which he did flawlessly. I got flawlessly. Yeah. I you. Go ahead, open up for your baby girl. Slams her in the head with it. Damn. She's she see the car. She choosing already. Isaiah effortlessly gets Sierra into the car. Oh yeah, that's his bitch. I'm not even gonna hold you. She hit one of these. My nigga, she got into the car and looked at the mirror immediately. She don't know this nigga like that, bro. You're cooked. <laughs> GG, good game. See you late. See you later. I didn't notice this at the time, but when she hops into the car, she immediately starts checking herself out. Is she trying to make sure? What I say, what I say, what I say, I be knowing that's, that is his girl. That's his girl now. She got into the car and looked in the mirror. She pulled it down like she was already here. That's that's his girl. GG. See you later. So she looks good. Is she just fixing her hair from all the dancing? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this the red flag? Yeah, okay. You don't gotta check yourself. You look good. <laughs> this is insane. With Sierra now in the Rolls Royce, there was only one last step in our plan. Isaiah was now free to finally make his move. How do you think she's doing so far? Yeah. She on thin ice and it's cracking. Sad. She on thin ice. I mean, she still she's is still pregnant though. Like that we can't, she can't forget come back that. From, but she's entertaining too much for sure right now. Simple fact that she's sitting in the car. And get with Shawty right here. here. Get with Shawty right next to you. Get, get with Matt on. On the back right here, you can't really That's see. That's not an L, bro. She, she, she bad. Yeah. yeah. That pops out like that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Imagine. This is my second car. And if you touch right here. Oh, wait. Fucking roof disappears. <laughs> it's like, you don't know how you use your own car? No, I meant to press this button. Dashboard is eviscerated. It's like, my nigga, what is happening? Oh, I got the other car in the shop. Oh, wow. But I like What's the other car? So, so, it's a Yaris. It's a Yaris. It's a fucking Yaris. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it costs way too much to not be my dream car. How much is it? Guess. No cars like that. How much is it? GG! <laughs> Just by looking at See it. See you later! <laughs> See you later! Like Ooh! Yeah, you really don't know about cars, baby. What? 100 bands? 100 bands? You say 100,000? Yeah, what? <laughs> that is. Less! <laughs> okay! That's a house he's driving, clearly. Crazy. That's wow! You really said a hundred thousand dollars? Damn, a hundred. She think she think it's like that. A hundred day? What? Man, that car five hundred plus. <laughs> Are you crazy? Does it cost a hundred thousand? Like, <laughs> shorty, this this car five fifty. <laughs> like five thirty. <laughs> it costs four hundred thousand. Yeah. Four hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. No way to Swear to God. It costs that much? Yeah. You're lying. Why would what he be lying? You can look it up right now. I don't know how to spell. Rolls Royce. What was it? Cullinan? Was it Cullinan? Look, we're going Rolls Royce right now. Let's... I just want to look at the price. Existing, nah. Bro, what? See? They make models. Let's just look at a. It was a Cullinan, right? Yeah, Discover. Well, how much is this? How much is this? Make an inquiry. Future owner purchase. You have to request one. <laughs> yeah, don't got. Oh my goodness, bro! You have to request to buy it. Son, 
what oh my goodness they don't even they don't even you can't even look at a price d bro make an inquiry i just want to view in detail oh well commission can we just see a price a price tag price tag just one price tag all right all right because they, they don't got it so we're just gonna see rolls royce cullinan cost how much how much how much is it how much is it 2024 cullinan is how much pricing my goodness starts at three hundred and ninety one thousand <laughs> yo then goes up to four hundred and fifty three thousand dollars thousand dollars that's literally the price of a house Exactly. Like He's that. driving a house on the road. Yeah, here we go. So now Sierra knows the price of the car, which side now is actually four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars before taxes. And yes, that. Oh, before. Before taxes. Lose the umbrella. So uh, you live far from here? I'm like forty minutes out. Yeah. What? That's not far at all. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. You got any plans this weekend? I don't know yet. Yet? Why? Well, I'm gonna answer. I'm just trying to give you some plans. Give yeah. you some plans. I'm gonna be real. Yeah. This bro, he is corny. This dude is corny. He's corny, bro. Like, I'm trying to give you some plans. Like, <laughs> like, shut up, bro. I'm in a predicament right now. What? I got this beautiful woman in my car, oh. and I feel like I would be dumb not to ask her out on a date. She'd be dumb to say yes. You're asking me on a date. Okay, that was that was okay. That was that was clean. That was. It wasn't nothing crazy. It was it was chills. I would love to. Well, why do you want to take me out on a date? <sighs> because you're beautiful, you're talented, mm -hmm. you're sexy. The list goes on. I can keep going if you want me to. You met her for, for it's been like 30 minutes, bro. Trust me, you can't keep going on. I want someone I can spend my time with, give my time to. Mm -hmm. I want to spend my time with you. She don't even know when people lie to her. That's. She, <laughs> <made> <laughs> she don't even know when they lying. <laughs> No one knows. You can't, bro. You can tell when somebody's lying at times, but it's like if you, it's like. <laughs> he said, he said, she don't even know when somebody lying to her. Who he want her to read minds? She don't even know when people lie to her. <laughs> He's saying that. She making it easy for him too. I'll pick you up in this. I'll have a whole bouquet of flowers in the back. Flowers? I'll make a song for you. Why she say what flowers? Like that's crazy. What flowers? But you own a four hundred thousand dollar car? Like the whole nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Put your number on my phone. Okay. We can figure whatever out. Fail already. Damn. Like she ain't pregnant. 
That's what she on. Um, you think she'll actually show up? It don't matter if she's showing. Just opening the door, giving them access, that's already enough. This is crazy. Okay, I like where his head is at, though. At least he already, like, knows. Crazy, because Sierra is pregnant. She's pregnant. She's in a relationship with Joe's heart because she wants to be a family. Yet she's over here agreeing to go on dates with other guys. What do you want to eat? Um, honestly, I have no idea. Like, I'm usually... Take me to Ruth Chris. Oh, you, Miss Indecisive. Just pick... All right. Spicy food, like I don't know. Can you do spicy food? How about this? I'll pick you up. Okay. We can be spontaneous. Okay. We can figure it out on the day, and then after, we can come back, chill. Like come back to here? Yeah. At your crib? At my crib. <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Damn. She ready. Look at her just choosing. Oh, what is wrong with this? I can make some drinks. I'm actually kind of nice. I actually used to be a bartender back in the day. See, and this is where you lose me, bro. That's corny. Like, what? He just lying now. I actually used to be a bartender. What? No kind of nice with it, yeah. Before I started doing this producer thing. No way. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Mm -hmm. What do you know how to make? Once again, Isaiah decided to push this phase even further, and this time it seems to be working out for him. I can make whatever you like. Mm. What do you like drinking? More of like a tequila gown. Okay. You know? What are we rocking with the tequila? Mm, margarita. Tequila sunrise sometimes. Okay, I already got the pineapple juice and that orange juice in the fridge right now. Oh, so you just ready. Oh, I stay ready. You stay ready, you don't gotta get ready, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's talking about drinking while she's supposed to be pregnant. What's... That's true. That's true, oh, damn it. Yeah, either. that is true. Wow, that's crazy. Oh wow. Oh now it's really getting bad. See, like at first it was already bad because it's like you you supposed to be your partner. I don't I don't know what's going on with them. But now you you going just Okay. After that, after that we can, you know, just see where the night goes. Okay. I'll be down with whatever. Yeah, I like being spontaneous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, like you just go to Starbucks every Tuesday. That's not spontaneous. Hey. She don't got no She'll never say that to so. me. She's making it so easy. This was a complete and utter fail. Sierra knows exactly what Isaiah is offering, and she knows what she should say. Yet, despite having a man and a baby, she still agrees to go on a date with him. It looks like she's looking for a come up. Nah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Dude is one thing, but the child is like. Wow, that's even worse. Like, that's... I ain't your... All right, where am I picking you up from? You said you live in what area? She's really doing all of this while she's pregnant, dude. She got a man and a baby, bro. What's she gonna do when the dude finds out she has a baby? I can't even imagine what she'd be doing on a normal house. They're just really crazy as to think about, like... You really can't just trust people, and that's why I'm glad I did this Cause this just gave him the confirmation that she ain't loyal for sure. So that gave me more reason to keep my suspicions going of who baby it is. Yeah. It's cool though, bro. I definitely want to get her tested before you put in any child support or anything. Oh, 100%, dude. 1,000%. 100%, dude. Sure. This is heartbreaking, messed up, and sad. It's sad for Joe's art and the baby. Like, really think about it. Definitely hurt enough. No point in continuing this any further? No, no she, need to, she need to feel me. She need to see how I feel. No, she clearly too comfortable in the car. She too she comfortable what, in this sir? environment. I need to yeah. wake her up and bring her back to reality. Are you what are you talking about? Yeah. Bro, you're not Thanos. No. It's going to be good. wrong with you what the f is this you know what the f this is <laughs> why does everybody say that what is this and then she, they're like <laughs> why the f you talking much about going on a date with this nigga what the f going through your hair right now what why the f you out here being a f what's your problem yo can you stop recording me no i'm not about to stop recording you what the f you out here doing you in his car talking about you about to go on days this time Nah, see, like, seeing that other angle though cooking me. Cause, no, I'm not about to stop recording. That's how it looks behind the scenes. They never show that. But, like, he got a, he's like this. He like this. Everybody's just like this. 
I want to hear it. I know that bro, part. What the so you weird. out here doing? You in his car talking about you about to go on days and stuff and third? What the f wrong with you? You tripping? You think I'm stupid or something? You look stupid. Nah, I don't look stupid. I just know what the f you got going on and I need a confirmation of that for real. You I'm tripping, right. shorty? I'm over this shit. Nah, what the f you doing? Out of my way. Where the f you going? We're not about to do that. You trying to run away from your problems and no, your I'm responsibilities. Not trying to run away. I'm not trying to be in Bro, you shouldn't have been out here being a What the f you doing there? You talking about you're not trying to be on camera. I'm not trying to be out here raising a kid that ain't mine. You want me to be there and be responsible for this kid and be there for this baby, but you out here doing niggas and like that? You got me up. What the f are you talking about? You know what the f I'm talking about. You out here in the car playing crazy with this f talking about you about to go on dates and you talking about you about to drink liquor? You got a baby in your belly. You know what that f that's gonna do to my kid? What the f is wrong with you? You not thinking with your head or something? I can do whatever the f I want to do. You're not about to do what the f you want while you got my kid in your belly. Supposedly, my baby. What the f wrong Bro, with you? you f set me up. Yeah, I set you up because you was about to. Whoa, okay. She's not even talking about the child. Um, so what what is that? Like, is is the baby real? Set me up for 18 years, about to have me paying child support on a kid that's probably what not the even. What are you talking about? I'm right? talking about you this baby and you hiring people to stop me No, nah, don't be trying to flip it on me. Now nah, I saw all these cameras out here because you could have been one, two, three, four, five niggas before you told me you had this baby in your stomach. You. See, see, this entire thing was basically all a test. We were just trying to help Joseph <laughs> find out if you were loyal to him or not. That's why we have all these cameras. Failed, rolling. tragically. I mean, and clearly, I mean, you agreed to go on a date with Isaiah. This isn't actually his house. This house is a rental. Wow. Madeline is a singer, but she doesn't really want to make a whole dance and everything for the video. So, like, all that was just made up. Like, you know, we just wasting my so I'm not gonna get my money. <laughs> now you know how I feel to get your yeah, time well, wasted. Why the f do you have everyone in our business? I tried to keep it between me and you, but you wanted to involve all these other niggas in our situation. Now I'm just questioning who you was dealing with before you even told me you was pregnant, because it might not even be mine. Whoa! Now I want a paternity test. And... Well, it's not. It's not yours. It's not your baby. Oh. Okay. Great. You somehow got the answer. I don't know how that worked, but. How do you get the answer? Yeah, did you want to hear that? So they my baby, who kid is it then? I your best friend. <laughs> what? What? Your best friend. I your friend. Hey, look, How does look, that look. feel? <laughs> did you want to hear that? Yeah, I your friend. Hey, look, you know we don't even play like that. Don't even say no like that to me before I get out of here. Nah, you up in the head, shorty. How about this? I mean, I know you're worried about getting paid, so how about if I offer you a thousand dollars to go take a prenatal pregnancy test? There's a few clinics. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Joe Zard's friend here, and I'm trying to just get to the truth at this point. My offer to you is I'll give you a thousand dollars if you agree to go do a prenatal pregnancy test. It's gonna cost about two thousand dollars, but I'll cover all of that. You'll get pretty much a thousand dollars for taking the test. He'll know who's the actual if he's the father or not, and everything else is covered. Yo, he's motion man. That's that's the real motion man in the room. Hello? <laughs> wait, wait, what? So you're offering to pay her? I'll give her an extra $5,000. All right, see, now it's fake. <laughs> they give me at first and then I get cooked again. I gave her six grand total. Six grand? So you give her an extra five grand. That's yes. Awesome. Six grand. This came out of nowhere. My man Scott was offering Sierra $6,000 to take this thing called a prenatal pregnancy test. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but apparently they've developed ways to find out if you're the parent of a child before the baby's even born. Apparently as early as seven weeks of conception. Imagine if Jerry and Maury had this Six grand. Six grand. Six K, you know you need I'm over Bro, I'm over this. Oh, where you going? <laughs> She's weird. Okay, I'm 6K. That's. Hello? Get the Just getting Why are you trying to leave me? You're trying to buy the paper or everything. Yeah. You can't go nowhere Don't like. Don't touch me, bro. Like, I'm out of here, bro. How are you trying to leave now when he said he paid for everything? What's your issue, Shorty? Come back. Don't you away from your problems now. You lack accountability. Her fit tough, you though. Do 
Side note, the fit is tough. She's the only one fitted. I'm like, you trying to run away when the evidence right in front of you? That's a problem. You need to find out your morals and your standards. They in the gutter. You see what you and you is the problem. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bleeps. It's just no yeah, audio. Hey, we should move that before she backs into it. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me go put this card Actually, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we should, but if she does back into it, she's going to get sued out of her mind. Like, you don't want to hit a Rolls Royce. That's that's not even smart. Real quick. I left the, the keys are in the car. Yo, ass. She was like, just, we could just let her go, bro. Cause she, we going to let her go, but she's still a You out here choosing with these niggas like I'm a, I've been taking care of you from the start of all of this. You got a 6K opportunity. Let, let her struggle, bro. Don't rush for nothing. Don't, don't let her control the that she got going on. She don't run over here. Hey, she might back up into the rolls, bro. Kyle, you should move the rolls. She might back up into that. Keep getting nutted in. You're a oatmeal cream pie. God. You don't even have to say that, though. Lord. Oh, <laughs> Joe's not really called her an oatmeal cream pie. What the... What does that even mean? Oatmeal cream pie. I guess I kind of get it. What's wrong with her? Now, despite being offered $6,000 to take this prenatal test, Sierra refused to take it. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because of her ego. Maybe it's because she knows it's not Joe's arts. Or maybe it's because of what she's... Okay. You think she's being honest there? I don't know. I'm a little 50-50. She's a little too mad. She, she's she's pregnant. been. She's, she's, she only told me about a month or two ago, so I can't even tell by the stomach if she's really pregnant or not. I feel like she was trying to f with you the whole confrontation because she she was telling you, oh, the baby's not yours. I f your friend, and now she's telling you there is no baby. Yep. I think anything is possible at this point. What does get me is the whole like, why didn't she take the the money? I took that as like, dude, if she was telling the truth, why wouldn't she just say exactly? That? She's telling the truth. It's it's grand. Even if she is telling the truth, she's done for in the, in the case of me feeling any feelings for her. Even if she's pregnant and the kid is mine, she just gonna have to learn Man, how to deal with it from a distance. Bro, that's, 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 that's crazy. All right, man, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it, click it right here. You don't, you don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just, just click the video. It's on your screen already, might as well. Go ahead, click it.